Hello there. How are you? My name is Terry Slater. Um, I wanted to just come in here and just sort of, you know, not uh, um, have a bunch of stuff prepped. Um, I'm just kind of, I have some thoughts and I just wanted to kind of pop in here and I'm going to keep doing this. I'm, I'm just going to not, not prepare too much, not think too much about what I want to say. Um, sometimes I just have some things that I want to talk about. And so I'm going to jump right in today and get started talking about why awareness is your very first step to progressing with your financial situation, regardless of what your goals are. Um, so I would love if you subscribe to my channel or follow my page. And I'm going to be doing this, um, you know, most of the month of August, I'm going to pop in here just every day. So um, like I said, these are just kind of like, you know, no frills, no production. We're just going to pop in here today and talk. Okay. Um, so I wanted to mention again that um, awareness, I feel like, is always going to be step one whenever you are trying to make progress towards any goal. And whenever I have clients that um, come to me to work with me one on one, um, regardless of their goal, the first thing that I always ask them to do is document what the most recent month of their spending looked like. Um, and this inevitably, it's always a huge eye opener. And it's largely because and I, I like to pick groceries because that's something that almost all of us are paying for, um, if not all of us are paying for. Groceries has a tendency to be one of those things where inevitably people always surprise themselves because they think that they spend a certain amount each month or about a certain amount on groceries. And then when they go through and actually document it, they're blown away that they spent way more than they expected to. Um, and so like, that's just information. It's nothing that you have to like feel bad about, you know, you don't give yourself guilt or shame or, you know, there's no reason to get upset about it. All it is, is it's information, right? And so with that information, now we can move forward and know, okay, either number one, your perception was way off. So let's readjust your perception moving forward. So now instead of saying, I usually spend $600 a month on groceries, just start saying, I typically spend $800 a month on groceries if that's the way that you want to sort of adjust, right? Um, because again, it's just information, it's just numbers. So we're the ones that really like associate some emotion to those numbers. Um, and and there's, there's, there's no need to, it's just numbers. So we can either like adjust them or, you know, adjust the way that we think about it. Um, so that's one thing, you can either just like sort of shift your new normal to what you now have awareness around, or now you've identified some opportunities for how you can start to make changes. Um, so maybe you're thinking to yourself, like, that's, that's ridiculous. I don't need to be spending that much on groceries. I know that I can do better. And so you can just change that and start to work towards, you know, narrowing that down to, to a number that you feel more comfortable with. Um, so that's one thing I like to talk about is that, again, it's that awareness um, around where you're actually spending. And um, hey there, John, happy to see you here. Um, so another thing that I want to mention, too, is that sometimes when you are, again, you know, just documenting like where you're spending, there are a lot of times it used to be um, like Walmart or Target, like um, big box stores, I guess that's what you call them, right? Big box stores. My point is, can you go in there and buy groceries and a purse and some shoes and some gifts? That's like a whole bunch of different like spending categories all lumped into one. And usually people are not distinguishing what they're buying. So that's A, but B is also Amazon. Um, and so I know that a lot of times people, when I ask where, where have you spent your money in the past month, they're looking at like, on their, um, you know, um, either credit card statement or bank statement, whatever you're looking at, you have to look at all of it. Um, but if they're just seeing like, you know, Venmo, Venmo, Amazon, PayPal, you know, what is that? And so again, this awareness is that you've just got to start looking at things, um, you know, because if you are, you um, you know, I, I don't even know. I'm trying to think of a good example. Let's just say that you buy like your toilet paper on Amazon every month or something like that, right? Then, okay, that's fine. If we know it's the same thing every month, you can document it. It's just, we have that information now. But if you look at it and it's like, oh, number one, I don't even know what I bought, then how can we start to talk about making shifts 
in your spending if you're not even really sure like what you're spending on. Um, and it's always up to you on whether or not that, you know, there are things that you want to change about how you're spending your money. Um, but most typically, a lot of times that's why people are coming to see me is because they're looking for some sort of a change. So step number one is just awareness. Um, so if you have goals or have had goals and maybe have kind of fallen off the wagon or lost track, it, there's never a, a time that's too late to like get back on track and start again, right? So today is the first day of the month. I'm sure you're probably watching this on a replay, so you might catch it later, but today's August 1st. So um, wherever you are, doesn't matter, doesn't have to be the first day or the last day of the month. It can be anywhere in between, but just start today. So if you have um, some changes that you want to make, financially speaking, let's just start by looking at the past month past 30 days, document where did you spend your money and then start to look at that. And what kind of things do you now realize once you've got some awareness around that? So um, I would really love to, um, you know, have any input on that. Like if you have any things that came up for you um, that were kind of shocking or if you, you know, can relate to the whole, you know, Amazon slash Target slash Walmart, like, I don't know what I bought, because it could have been anything, um, you know, then feel free to put that in the comments. And, and we can, you know, commiserate together on that, I suppose. Um, but if you have anything that you are thinking to yourself, like, yeah, no, I already know what my spending is like. And now I've just got to figure out like how to rein it in or what the next steps are. Um, I'm more than happy to chat. So I do offer a free sort of like Q&A call. Um, if you've got some certain goals that you're trying to work towards and you feel like maybe I might want some help working towards those goals, but you're just not really sure, um, you can always jump on a call with me. So I've put it in the banner below. You can just go to my website, which is terryslater.com slash call. And and uh, just jump right into my calendar there. You can schedule something. We can chit chat for a few minutes. And, um, you know, I can either kind of give you some really basic guidance on, you know, what the next steps would be for you, or we can talk about what it would be like to work um, together one on one, if that would be beneficial for you. So, all right, um, that's all. I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of pop in here today and just talk about some thoughts. And I am always coming up with a lot of different things that I want to talk about. So I will be back here again tomorrow. So um, I hope to see you there. And uh, we will talk soon. All right. Bye, friends.